Today we are going to interview the founder of the Incentive Finance Protocol, a brand new protocol focused on smart contract security. Welcome Mathieu. Uh, pleasure to be here, Julien. Uh, full disclosure, I am one of the developers who worked on this protocol, so that's how we got to know each other. Um, and so first, Mathieu, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, uh, how you got into crypto? It's quite funny. Um, my first crypto experience was in 2015. And at this time, uh, I was playing Counter-Strike and uh, I actually earned some skin and um, I wanted to offer him that money. And at this time, the only services uh, I, like worked only with crypto. So uh, I had to transfer funds uh, through Coinbase and uh, I bought some Bitcoins uh, at this time. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't all them. And uh, yeah, uh, it's basically my first crypto experience. Uh, from then on, um, I really liked like the innovative aspect of the crypto market. And um, it, in 2017, obviously, like many people, I played a lot with the market, made a lot of money and <laughs> give a lot back to the market also. And uh, it's in 2020 where I really start to uh, professionalize the process and started to work with uh, the centralized finance team. And uh, here now, since uh, one and a half year, I'm working on incentives. So yeah, this is <laughs> basically my crypto journey. Yeah, and what gave you the idea for the incentive finance protocol? Yeah, so um, I, I lost some friends on FTX bankruptcy and I was a creditor of them. And uh, I discovered that there were ser centralized services allowing you to sell your claim uh, and to simply de risk and get a part of your money back instantly. Knowing that in decentralized finance, there, there were over 9 billion hacks at this time. I think today we are over like 11 and a half billion. Um, the idea struck me and I was like, how a claim market in decentralized finance still doesn't exist while there is this huge untaped niche of hacked claims just waiting to be traded. So this is basically how uh, I got the idea. And from then on, it's uh, I started like uh, working on incentive and building the team and, and everything around. So can you walk us through the protocol? How does it work exactly? Yeah, sure. So currently we have deployed the V1 on Arbitron testnet. Um, it's working with a collateral mechanism. So basically, if you are you lost funds uh, on any DeFi hacks, um, because this is our niche that this is a niche that we are focusing right now, um, you can just um, come to incentive.finance website and sell your claim instantly and uh, to the market price or a limit price if you don't like the market price. And um, on the other side, uh, any buyers uh, that's willing to speak uh, to speculate on a fund's recovery uh, is able to buy claim, so buy the distress asset right, and any funds recovered during a, a, a determined period will be returned to him uh, in the case of recovery. Yeah. Okay, so let's give a specific example. So let's say that I invested in some DeFi protocol and I got hacked for Let's make it easy, uh, uh, 10K, okay, $10,000. Yeah. So I go on incentive finance and I will sell my claim for this 10,000. So I will receive money right away, right? And and so how, exactly. how, how much money I will receive? Yeah, so the, the money you will receive is determined by the market price. So we are just building the platform, uh, the, the men will meet the offer there. But the idea is uh, like, I've also lost funds in crypto hacks, um, nomad hacks, to, um, and like, or, and or other ones. And like, you know, when you just got hacked, you really have like a, a really bad feeling, and you really like start thinking of everything you could do with this money. And it's like really horrible to be just you, you can't do anything, and you're just praying for a friend recovery. And sometimes the protocol even uh, um, negotiate on your behalf from the hacker, and they say if you got like. Uh, like if you, we accept of giving you like ten percent of bounty, and if you doesn't accept this offer, we'll just uh, uh, start legal uh, act uh, procedures against you. And I think it really doesn't make sense because a lot of users uh, will accept to give more than ten percent to the hackers to give uh, to get a part of, of this fund funds back. So uh, yeah, uh, in, in incentive. So if you lo lost ten thousand dollars, as you said, um, you will be able to get whatever the market price is part mm. of your money back. Yeah. So let's say 50% you will get 5,000 instantly. And 
in the same time, the buyer uh, buys your claim for five thousand, but if there is a hundred percent recovery, he he earned uh, five thousand dollars. So okay, okay. so so basically for both parties. Okay, so you you get the premium uh, right away. I mean the, this this compensation. Uh, five thousand. So you're sure one hundred percent that you get some money, but it's not gonna be uh the same amount that you lost. And on the on the other side of the trade, so you have um a, a speculator who bets that the recovery will happen and will be above what he paid. So the speculator only makes money if the recovery is more than in this case five thousand dollars so let's say that like six thousand dollars and make one thousand dollar of profit but they can also lose money if there is the recovery is less than this or it doesn't happen then they'll lose everything so it's really up to them to price this correctly yeah exactly um i think like a, a big example everyone's know is like poly network hack and uh, you know during this time the hacker was negotiating with the protocol for a few days and like this is like really a good example because in the end she gave like the 600 million back but if you just lo lost money there you like you really want to the risk and to transfer the risk to someone else and since there is already negotiation ongoing you will be able to sell your, cl your claim at likely a high price of like 80 90 percent but in the same time for some people it's very interesting to like win this 20 or 10 percent by just waiting a few days few weeks uh, and and yeah, <laughs> mm. paying for the for the time basically. Yeah, and getting paid for for, for waiting. There are already mechanism currently where people can sell their claims. So for example, with FTX, the, there were some markets that where people could sell their claims. So so currently, if is there any sort of alternative to or any competitor to what you're building? Yeah. So um, in centralized finance, so for like Celsius, FTX. Uh, Alameda and those kind of companies, there are already services that exist, but they're working in a totally different manner. So it's like you need to KYC and to work with lawyers and to sign documents. And obviously, like as a crypto user first, I, I, I know that if I wanted to read this claim tech on chain you, uh, and, to, uh, and to make it work uh, with like the DeFi users, you really can't ask for a KYC or, or such. Uh, uh, like uh, legal uh, procedures, so um, all the platform is built on a permissionless manner, and it's like really you just connect your wallet and you sell your claim very easily. Uh, in the decentralized finance sector, some other competitors, um, like they could be seen as competitors, will be like the insurance company companies. But um, in my opinion, it's like not really a competitor because um, okay, like a lot of like. When you use DeFi and you farm protocols, you never like all in in one protocol. So you always like on five, ten protocols in the same time. And to get an insurance for each one of them is actually a like very boring process. And also, it's just impossible to do because those insurance companies only um, uh, insure like the biggest protocols. So if you kind of farm on shady ones and like and those are the ones that are the most likely to get hacked. Uh, you just can't get insured. And in the same time, it's just like a boring process while with incentive, you can just, uh, with peace of mind, uh, make your journey in DeFi. And if ever by mischance you get hacked, we will create a market and you will be able to say, uh, to sell your uh, claim directly. Uh, so I think like the process is just like 10 times better. And there is, even if they could be seen as competitors, uh, <laughs> it's, it's just like, way better to use incentive <laughs> there are already some mechanism that exist but it's not like a marketplace that work for any kind of yeah, hack yeah. It's basically a marketplace yeah. that is just a one-off that uh, exists just for a specific hack and then it's also off chain so uh more complicated yeah we, we are the first mover uh, in yeah. decentralized finance and as of today there, there are no competitors in decentralized finance sector yeah how do you declare a protocol hacked? Uh, is there any sort of oracle that gives this information, or is this another process? Yeah, so we were we we're working with um, on-chain an analysts and um, also like on X social networks or previously Twitter, a lot of hack medias that instantly post whenever there is a hack. So um, when we detect a new hack, we just create the market um, on Instantive platform, and uh, we for now we kind of runs it off chain uh, I, I like there is just no way to making to make it efficiently work on chain so yeah this is how we create markets 
what kind of investor will buy those claims on your platform? There is several parties uh, interested by buying claims. Uh, first, like of course, the retail that just thinks that, that there will be a recovery. They saw uh, like on chain or off chain uh, negotiation uh, with the hacker and the hacked protocol. Uh, there is also the DeFi whales and speculators. Uh, also, there is like on chain investigators uh, that <laughs> like are deeply. Uh, 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 that got a, a deep knowledge uh, into um, uh, funds recovery, and that I'm sure that willing to bet on the uh, on when they, they detect that uh, uh, the recovery will likely occur, uh, they are willing to bet um, on this fund recovery. Uh, also, distressed debt funds. So in traditional finance, there is a lot of uh, distressed debt and claims traded, uh, but those funds we actually have a strategy to onboard them in incentive. Uh, and to make them trade the claims, and uh, finally, just that uh, they are seeking uh, to like find um, financial assets that uh, give uncorrelated returns. Because the very interesting part about the hack market is, uh, no matter if we are in a bear market or a bull market, hacks happen every time, and it's like steadily uh, like between one and two billion each year. So you can really get a stable return even if the market is like bad down so okay what's your future roadmap yeah so currently we have deployed um the v1 and the v1.1 on arbitrage from testnet uh, the testnet were pretty great we had over like uh, 10,000 users and uh, 1 million claims traded uh, currently we are in the negotiation with um, top blockchains to uh, see where we are going to deploy the mainnet first and uh, we are also working on a V2 and a V3, so per per perpetual market for claims trading. It's like very interesting uh, to, to build this tech and yeah, uh, a, lo a lot of stuff is coming. Also, um, I, I can't tell you anything, but stay tuned. And How can we stay updated with incentive finance? Um, just follow our X accounts and we post here every, every new market added, every news about hacks and everything. So. Uh, I think it's really the place to be okay. to ah. follow incentive. Uh, I'll post the link down below. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mathieu. So thanks for coming here and good luck with incentive finance. It's been a pleasure, Julien. And it's also been a pleasure to work with you. And I recommend every watchers of this video to uh, definitely uh, look deeply into what Julien is doing because it's like he's just top tier developer and he's he really know what he's doing and uh, just his reputation precedes himself and yeah okay well he's really one of, of the top blockchain developer uh, thank you so much Thanks Mathieu much, <laughs> thank you so much uh, have a good day it's been a pleasure yeah, yeah you too ciao ciao bye